E3 brought us a first peek at Nintendo's next console, and I gotta say, it's weird. It's essentially a DS and a Wii combined, but you only know that because someone else told you, and this console makes no sense. So what on earth is a Wii U, and why should you care? After the original presentation ended, we could tell there was a lot of confusion in the air. Is this a new console? Is it just an add-on for the original Wii that supports HD? You know, I have one of those UDRAW tablets for the Wii. Isn't that the same thing as this? Well, no. This is completely new. Mostly new. Where the Wii was the console to bring the generations together and make gaming as simple as possible, the Wii U becomes the device to take console gaming on the go, because it's all about you. Now, the 3DS is already super impressive, but think about a 3DS that skips wasting time with all the 3D and the two screens and hops straight into that new Super Mario crap. And it doesn't even need a TV. Heck, who cares about Mario when you could be playing Assassin's Creed or this brand new Zelda they showed off? So real quick, let's talk about the advantages of the Wii U that exist without even considering the new power we hold. For one, think about your DS or your brand new 3DS. It becomes an overlooked and underappreciated necessity to have these bottom touchscreens. Menu navigation is so fun and so easy, and there's plenty of fun effects game devs have made using the split screens. Try and think back to the Game Boy Advance or even the Game Boy Color. It's impossible to believe that we had to scroll through menus upon menus in games like the Minish Cap, where all we have to do now is tap the screen a couple of times. It's a game changer. Pokemon was honestly a nightmare back then considering how many menus you had to go through the entire game. Now think about what we could do with the touchscreen on console gaming. There's already been some examples on the Wii of pointer or stylus controls with the Wii mode and aforementioned Uidraw tablet, but the screen and added precision of the Wii U tablet is going to be a game changer. Again, think of this, you're playing the newest, most beautiful 3D Zelda you could think of, and without needing to obscure anything on the TV, you could simply look down at your controller to see where you are on the map. And you could see what the current objective is. Maybe you're playing a party game where one person needs to know something different from everyone else. Instead of having everyone look away from the TV and risk having cheaters, you can have one person get the tablet passed to them and have them just learn it right there. Art programs will become super sophisticated, and some games might even be encouraged to add drawing mechanics. Something like picture tracing for puzzle solving, or even a level creator for games like we had in Super Smash Brawl. Truly, the options are limitless, and I for one cannot wait to see what tablet drawing alone could do. But what about the sheer power of the console itself? During the announcement, they said that this console is for all gamers, and even showed off some companies that will be working with them to create games. Games like Assassin's Creed, Batman Arkham, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon, they will all be on the Wii U. In the near future, we may very well be playing Call of Duty Black Ops 2 at the same quality or at an even better quality than the competing consoles, and I love it. Nintendo fanboys will finally get the respect they deserve, because we always knew Nintendo would overcome the competition and create a product that's truly worth its spot at the table. The Wii may have been a success commercially, but it undeniably suffered with its lack of HD support. The Wii U will have no such hindrance. The Wii U will be the console of the future. The Wii U will be the console of the people. The Wii U will succeed. But with that, I'd say eat your fruits and vegetables, and as always, keep cool. Bye.